over here and see who this is. Do you think do you think this is very helpful at APAC convention to put this sign up? Oh. We're at a point. We we're tax, at a historical tipping point, we're buddy. The tax yeah. You got to tell it like it okay. is. So you think truth. you think Trump is a Nazi? You think Absolutely. this gets your message? Absolutely. You do. You do. He's a okay. He's Nazi. Yeah. He has violence at his you rallies. You compare him to the, the the Hitler of 1929. You compare him to the Mussolini of 1920. You don't think that's an overstatement? No, not in. No. I'm a historian. I know what I'm talking about. There are multiple points. And you're Webster Tarpley, right? Webster Tarpley. That's it. We've got Webster Tarpley here. That's and right. Webster Tarpley thinks that Donald Trump is a Nazi. Absolutely a Nazi. And I'm, I'm appalled, back that up beyond I'm Goodwin. I'm appalled to see libertarians who were supposed to be the opposite of authoritarian, totalitarian, all trooping like lemmings yeah. into this Trump conveyance. Let's Years talk about some ago, stuff. People who called themselves libertarians never would have supported Donald Trump. Well, over the last, do, do you think, at least from my experience, okay, do you, do you well, understand what's going on with globalism? Do you see I, the, the I, open look, borders look, and I, the multinational? I used multinational to work with companies? the libertarians, mm -hmm. and the libertarians I used to work with never, ever would have endorsed Donald Trump. Okay. I'm not working with the libertarians anymore. As I, so uh, who do you work with? Webster. Webster. Okay. Yes. Webster now, why is, is he a Nazi? Yes. Why is he a Nazi? Nazi? Twelve million deportations. That's a police state right away. That's the knock on the door in the middle of the night. Women and children dragged out of the door. Do we have, Taking what if somebody buses. comes into your home and doesn't leave? Do you call the police? Stop Do you call the, the police with that? Word game. Uh, that's not my libertarian word this game. Is, this is I'm, quoting the, right. I'm quoting a Cuban mayor from Florida. He it's says to his wife. It's yeah. supposed to be against a police state. Get ready to see the biggest police state that you've ever seen. 12 million deportations means holding cells made out of stadiums, cattle cars out of this country. I don't know what you guys are, you guys, this is what well, you Well, they could always go here. home, couldn't they? Look, You're let's, let's live in the real world, huh? Stop with the I word do live games. in the real world. Zero tolerance for your word games. 12 million well, it's deportations. It's not a word game. If people come here illegally. You know, forget illegal. The whole country is illegal. The <laughs> government is based on assassinations. You know this better than anybody. Why start with the most defenseless people? Because they're being scapegoated, a la Hitler. Hitler says, there's a depression. Who's responsible for the depression? Is it the Wall Street bankers? No, says Donald Trump. It's those wetbacks. Well, I think he has blamed it on the Wall Street bankers and NAFTA and TPP. He is not, he is not lifting a finger against them. Trump wants well, he hasn't done anything because he's not president yet, but he's talked about so, uh, TPP. What he's done is lie and lie and flip-flop and flip-flop. Just about anything he says, you can't believe. Here's what we do know. He wants riots. If he doesn't get the nomination given to him on a silver platter, he wants to have riots. Now you know. I think that's a mischaracterization. A You're talking about you playing word games. You that's a mischaracterization. Yes. If you don't get the absolute majority on the first ballot, you go to the second ballot and the third and the fourth. And what he's saying is, no, 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 no. The whole whole course of American history is not good enough for His Highness Donald Trump. He says, I want the nomination after the first ballot, even if I don't get the uh, absolute majority. So a minority candidate is going to get the nomination. Ridiculous. Let, let me ask you, have you ever seen a situation where you've got the, the uh, RNC head, chair, and the delegate saying, we're going to hand it to somebody who didn't even run? I, I don't, well, I'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Anyway, don't get well, me wrong. Well, I think that's what he was I'm talking about. I'm not a Republican. I have okay. never stooped so low and so much degradation to be a, a Republican. I'm not going to do it. Let's get back to it, though. He says riots. And then he says over the weekend in Arizona, Second Amendment. He's going to win big with the Second Amendment. So we take riots and Second Amendment. I think it's got to do with guns, am I right? And put that together. So he's talking armed riots. Riots. I think that's a bit of a stretch. I think he, what he's saying is that people would riot if the RNC puts in somebody that hasn't even participated in the, yeah, in the process. Somebody like to, Romney or somebody like read, Paul Ryan. Some, stu some studies of fascist blackmail and fascist innuendo and you'll get the idea. He wants to abolish the First Amendment. He says he wants to expand the libel laws so that he can sue people and get lots of money if they dare to insult him. He says is that wages. Is against the First Amendment? Is Info, Info no. always said that they were against the NSA and the police? State. Absolutely. Look, look. Donald Trump, wait, has Donald Trump not said <laughs> yeah. that he wants to increase the surveillance state? Has he not said that? Yes, he has. And we have also and said we he, oppose him on it. How can you guys sell out to yeah, that? How that's not shilling for him. Info You're shilling for him. You're shilling for him. Come on. No. Look, it's not, you're being do you, conned. Do you you're being conned. 
do you understand what's going on with the with TPP, with TTIP? Do you understand yeah, that's the for, critical path for globalism? For, yeah. Listen, do you understand that? We want a 15% protective tariff. Yeah. The tax Wall Street Party demands a 15% protective tariff. Well, he wants a higher protective no, tariff. No, he wants to use he it as a He wants to weapon. use that as a he threat, wants to use but not a really have it. Hold in business negotiations, so he can say there's Nabisco and Kraft. And there's yeah, but I think you're arguing no, no, semantics. No, 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 I don't no. think you're giving him credit for no. what the thing that, that the Republicans are he's criticizing him for is protectionism, a, he's and he's with you on that issue. So. To create his own monopolies. You're being conned. He'll so your party is what? Tax Wall Street Party. On the Couple of other points. Want. Trump says and wages are too high. Wages are too high? That the minimum wage is a bad thing? Are we nuts? Then he also says he's willing to tolerate unions, but he doesn't want Don't them to expand. Don't be a dupe for Trump. Don't be a dupe for Trump. He doesn't, he, he, he's willing to, to tolerate them where they exist, but otherwise he's going to use the Taft-Hartley Slave Labor Act and prevent people from creating unions. So his tax reform, it goes down, the top rate goes down from 40 to 25%. Mm -hmm. Is a bonanza for the top one tenth of 1%. Did you, did you agree with or oppose the Reagan tax cut? Huh? Do you agree with or the Reagan tax cut? Because he lowered tax. Disaster. They, they were a disaster tax. because. Okay. Then we have a disagreement on that. He yeah. Here's what he did okay. he ballooned the deficit mm -hmm. and then he turned around and raised the Social Security payroll tax to take that out of the hide of, of wage earners. So what he did was a massive redistribution of wealth from the middle and the lower to the upper. That's Reagan yep. in a well, nutshell. Complete I, fraud. Yeah, I, I agree that, that lowering taxes and increasing spending was a, a formula for disaster. I think that I'm on the Triple side of the lowering taxes, debt. though. Triple and and you disagree. Debt, you yeah, but you disagree you with lowering the taxes. The anti-establishment. When did you guys become such acolytes for Reagan? Yeah, you guys are just normal Republicans. You're right-wing Republicans. Selling okay. Out. It's very okay. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're we're sellouts. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Here we go. This is this is Donald Trump as a fascist. And you just heard Webster Tarpley, and of course anybody that's listened to me knows that I'm not a Reagan fan. I think that there's many things that Reagan did wrong. Lowering the income tax was about the only thing he did right. But of course Webster doesn't like that. Webster says that we can't trust Donald Trump because he wants to raise uh, tariffs perhaps as much as 45% when he would go 15%. So there you go. If he triples, he can't do anything right. And look, I'm not going to apologize for what Donald Trump has said about civil liberties. I think he's absolutely wrong on those issues, and we can have a fight about that. I would rather have a fight with him on civil liberties than to have a fight with somebody like Hillary Clinton or Bernie Sanders or especially Ted Cruz, who says he's for civil liberties, and then comes in the back door and picks your pocket on it because he's lying to you. At least have, the, have a person who's going to come at you and say, I'm gonna do this, that'll get people fired up, I think.